What's going on guys? Welcome to today's video. Alright, I'm in nature right now. It seems a little bit weird. If you guys don't know who I am, my name is Alan Jarmelo. And I have some important messages that I want to like get across to you guys today in this video. You know, if you're coming to my channel, my main goal with this channel is to inspire you guys. I want to change your guys' mindset and I want to educate you guys about fitness and just overall how to make your life so much more enjoyable and better and stuff. There's plenty of people out there, there's millions of people out there that are so unhappy with their body, they're so unhappy with, you know, their current situation and stuff like that. And my channel, uh, the main purpose of this channel is just going to be to try and help you guys. Like, I just want to provide so much value to you guys and I just want to give back because for the last six years I've been trying to change my life, you know, physically and mentally and I've come across obstacles and stuff, and I just want to like, you know, further, I want to keep this raw by the way, so I'm not going to like really do any cuts or anything like that, but I want to, you know, take what I've learned the past six years with fitness and changing my mindset, and I want to educate you guys and relay, you know, all the information that I learned throughout the six years, and what I continue to learn now. So this video is going to be talking about priorities, okay? We're specifically going to be going into priorities when you're trying to change your body, all right? There's, this especially applies to college kids. This is such an important message, guys, that I really want to get across. And a lot of college kids, you know, they're so unhappy with their current situation. They're so unhappy with how they look. They're so unhappy with their friends. They're so unhappy with their inner circle that they, the people they surround themselves with. And the main purpose of this video is to tell you guys that it doesn't fucking matter, okay? You have the power to just separate yourselves from those type of people, okay? You're going to be surrounded by drugs in college. You're going to be surrounded by a ton of alcohol. You're going to be surrounded by people who just like to get high and fucking get drunk all the time. You're going to be surrounded by them, and that's just going to happen. But you have to take it upon yourself to separate yourselves from those type of people. Now, am I telling you to not enjoy yourself, you know, whenever you get the chance, like, you know, going out and just having a good time with your buddies? No, I'm not telling you that at all. What I'm telling you is the fact that, you know, there's going to be a lot of ch a lot of times in your, like, you know, when you're developing yourself, when, you, when you're just so unhappy about how you look in the mirror, okay? And you're going to be faced with, you know, ways to either pursue that goal or ways that'll take you further away from your goal. There's gonna be, that's gonna be go, come through people, it's gonna be coming through drugs, it's gonna be coming through alcohol, it's gonna be coming through all those different types of forms, okay? A lot of those things are gonna push you further away from where you wanna go, and you have to have the power to say no, okay? Last year, my, my, my freshman year, uh, I'm currently a sophomore, I'm 20 years old, and I know you guys are probably thinking like, okay, what the hell does this 20, 20 year old know, okay? Just bear with me here. Um, I'd appreciate it if you guys listen to me. And yeah, so um, I really think that a lot of people can take a lot of good things from this video, okay? So basically my freshman year, um, you know, obviously I had a good time, okay? Um, the first, I wanna say the first semester of the year I was kinda like, Okay, like I'm gonna, you know, partying is the normal thing to do. I'm gonna go out and party because I don't want to be judged, you know, like everyone's going out and having a good time. Why can't I go out and have a good time? And then I started to see a pattern, okay, and that pattern was that it was taking away so much from my goals. I had goals of developing my physique. I had goals of developing my mindset in order to develop my physique. And everything that I was doing right then and there was taking away from that. Okay, so now come this year, and no, no, now come the second semester, and I started to realize, like, okay, maybe I should stay in, you know, a couple weeks in a row, or maybe just like one week out of the month or something like that, and just sit inside, you know, read a book, you know, listen to speeches, listen to people who, you know, are very inspiring to me, and stuff like that, and really just work on myself, okay? I feel like a lot of people are so afraid to be judged for working on themselves that they just don't ever get up and do it. They're afraid to be alone. 
they're afraid to just like look at me I'm literally like so alone right now and I could not be happier okay uh, isolation is a gift honestly that's what I think of it as okay when you're isolated there is no one here to alter your thoughts it is you just you just you you are literally here by yourself and you control what's going on right now and there's no outer force coming on to you right now that's gonna you know change the way that you think okay so for those people out there that are afraid to be isolated guys it's a gift you just have to know how to use it if you sit there in isolation watching Netflix all day what do you expect to learn there is no mental gain there you know unless you're watching like documentaries and stuff to like further your education whatever but that's a different story my point being is that when you have the time to yourself, take advantage of it, okay? And if you go out and party with your friends all the time, I'm not saying that's a bad thing, you know? Like, you do you, you do you. But if you're truly unhappy with where you currently are right now, with your physique, with your mind and body connection, take that time. You have the power to say no to your friends, okay? You have the power to just say, screw it, I'm gonna stay in, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna watch documentaries all night, I'm gonna have a good time, I'm gonna be by myself and just listen to my thoughts. I'm gonna stay in and read a book, okay? You can do that too. Whatever you want, all right? No one's gonna control you, okay? You have the power and that's what's gonna allow you to further propel yourself, okay? Last year, I wanna say, you know, I was pretty weak-willed when it came to when my friends wanted to go out and I didn't because I would always just be like, okay, um, this one party is just gonna be so much fun that I cannot miss out. It's like, you know, it's really important that I have to go there. It's like, you know, this is gonna be the biggest party ever, so there's gonna be a lot of cute girls there, all this stuff, I have to go, okay? What do you know, I get back later that night and I'm like, why did I do that? Next weekend comes, the same exact thing happens. I wind up in my bed and saying, why did I do that? And eventually I got tired of that and I was just like, it's not worth it. Like. Surrounding myself by people who don't care about me, they just want to see me get fucked up all the time. It's not cool, guys. I'm not saying that you can't go out with your friends. I'm not saying that at all. If you have friends that deeply care about you and stuff like that, they care about your well-being, you know? If you're really interested in, like, developing your physique, they'll be like, hey, dude, like, uh, I thought you were worried about, you know, your body type and you're consuming a lot of calories right now, like I'm just looking out for you and stuff like that. That would be an example of a good friend right there because he's looking out for you. He's just not looking to get you fucked up, okay? That's another thing, you know? Sorry, I'm kind of going off on a tangent here, but I believe that there's a lot of like good little messages inside this video so far. So please just bear with me. And, oh God, what was I saying? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So talking about college and prioritizing okay my point is I'm gonna wrap up this video because I'm just gonna be going in too much of a tangent right now and I just want to get my point across my point is you have the power to separate yourself from the masses a lot of people think that they don't have the power a lot of people think that they're gonna get depressed if they isolate themselves isolation like I said before is a gift okay appreciate it but you have to know how to use isolation in, to your advantage, okay? And to not depress you, okay? If you sit there in isolation while all your friends are going out and you're sitting there on your phone looking at your Snapchat stories and you're looking at your Instagram stories and you're looking at everyone else having fun, you will drive yourself crazy. I did this all freshman year. When I'd stay in, I'd go and look at all my friends you know, I'd look like they were having a good time and I'd be like, wow, like I should have went. Oh God, like why did I stay in? Why, like am I being a loser right now? Why am I weird? Okay, this year comes around, guys, don't even pay attention to that stuff. It's not worth your time. Okay, like I said before, isolation's a gift if you know how to use it. How do you use it? You sit there, you educate yourself. You do something that's gonna like propel you forward, okay? Maybe you wanna stay in and cook all your food for the rest of the week just because that's the only time that you have to do it that's completely fine you can do that or you can sit inside read a book listen to an audio book okay there's a lot of ways that you could further develop yourself and it's gonna help you out so much later okay like trust me I mean I've last year 
Last year, I would sit in my room, like I said before, just looking at Snapchat stories, thinking about how I was not having a good time. And then now come, and God, like the isolation is honestly some one of the best things that ever happened to me. Because I'm alone, I'm by myself. There's no one influencing me. There's no one just like trying to get me to do drugs. There's no one trying to get me to drink alcohol. It is just me, my thoughts, and the education that I'm trying to learn, okay? That's it for this video, guys. <clears throat> Again, I kept it pretty raw, so, you know, it's, ten, it's about 10 minutes long, I'm sorry, but I do think that there's a lot of great info in this video, and I hope you guys could actually take away from it. Like I said, I want this channel to be focused around, like, self-development, motivation, you know, obviously building your body, teaching you guys about nutrition and stuff, and I just want to give as much as I can to you guys, and I just, I really appreciate you guys listening. I know I have like 115 subs right now, and <laughs> that's a, probably, might be like the only type of people that li actually listen to this, uh, or the only people that listen to this, but that's completely fine with me. If I could affect just one of you, I've done my job, and I'm so grateful for that, and I'm so grateful for everyone watching this video right now. Thank you guys so much. If you guys want to see more, please click, click the subscribe button. And if this video benefited you guys at all, please give it a thumbs up for me. I would deeply appreciate that. Thank you guys so much. Enjoy your week. <laughs> I'll see you guys. Bye.